Hey everyone. So, I must have been okay for Christmas. So here's what we got. These are the H&M or HM digital pH and TDS meters. So these are the ones that are um, CB at CB's Greenhouse and Garden recommends. Uh, I had some cheap ones. So I know he uses his all the time for everything. So if he says they're good, I'm assuming they're good. So these were on my Christmas list and I did get them. So I'm just gonna show you this one real quick. Um, this is the, I'm gonna do the pH meter first. This is the important one right now. Um, I think I really might have a pH issue with my plants um, because the not having the correct pH does not allow them to take up the nutrients like they're supposed to. Uh, so I did open this so uh, I didn't have to spend a lot of time reading through this um, while I was doing the video. So this actually has to sit in solution. So it gives you a storage solution and the cap at the bottom actually acts as the storage solution holder so what they recommend you do is you open this and I'm gonna do it here I actually got a cup of water just so I could test my my tap water but what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this solution and what they say is to pour it in the cap And there's actually, I don't know if you can see in there, there's actually a little piece of foam in there. So that's going to soak in, that foam is going to soak in that storage solution. And then they say just to let that soak in there, and then you can dump out any extra. It doesn't look like there's going to be any extra really in there. Oh, a little bit. So that's soaked in, and there was a little bit of extra. And then they want you to leave the meter in there for 15 minutes before first use. So I'm actually going to leave that sit there for 15 minutes. And then we'll be back. Okay. So it's been about 15 minutes. So I'm going to take this out now. And what I did was I got some tap water. Um, just to see. So this is straight out of the tap. So what I'm going to do now is I'm basically just going to, it says power and enter. So I'm going to push that. It comes up to PP or pH. And we're going to put that in the water. Now my water should be around 7. Maybe a little bit higher than 7. I don't know if you can see that as it's reading. It's saying it's 8.3. I don't believe that's correct. So they say it comes calibrated from the factory. I'm just not thinking that this is correct. I mean, it is going down. It's saying 8 right now, but I don't think it should take this long. So I'm thinking we're going to have to calibrate this. Because, yeah, I don't. This, this stopped at 8. And I don't believe there's any way that my water is 8 pH. Um, every time I've tried it before, it's always been around 7, 7.2. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually, this is my old meter. I'm going to put this in here. See what it reads. Yeah, see this one's way off. This is saying 2 point something. So this one's pretty much broke, and this is after I calibrated this one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and calibrate the meter. Now it actually gives you a buffer solution of 7. So I believe I can just pour this in. Let me just read the directions real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the pH buffer is 7, and all you got to do is put the meter in there. So we're going to cut that open. We're going to take the meter. So 
and I'm just going to basically make sure it's still on. Set the meter in there. Actually, there's just enough in there at the bottom you can actually put it. i to make sure it's over all the all the electrodes and stuff. So that's saying six eight. Boy. Six point eight. I mean, point two is not too bad. I mean, I would say I really don't have to calibrate this right now. Reading 6.8. It's only off by point two. We're going to calibrate it anyways. So, it says to press and hold the calibration button. So we're going to press and hold that. It says for about 10 seconds. And it should blink. So that didn't work. I think the meter just turned off. Okay. Make sure I'm only hitting the calibration. Okay, now it's flashing. It's flashing 70 or 7, which is what I want. And now I want the 7, so now I'm going to hit enter. Well, we're going to try that again. So I'm going to calibrate. It's flashing cal. I have the 7. I'm going to hit enter. It's reading. Okay, so I must not have did it fast enough. Now it says end, which is what it's supposed to do. Okay, so now it's reading exactly 7. Okay, the measurements will change. Okay, so now I'll turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on. So it's saying 7, so I'm going to keep that buffer solution real quick. Oh, now it dropped, so yeah, now, it's, now it dropped to 9.5. Alright, so now we'll check my water again. And we'll see what it says. Okay, that's better. 7.2. Hmm, that was pretty interesting. So they say you should calibrate it to approximately the, the packet that you're going to be using it at. So they give you a four. Well, actually, they don't give you any calibration solution. I have some um, because I had the other meter. So they give you a four, a 6.8, and a nine, I believe they are. Um... So I just wanted to do it at the 7 just to see because I know my water is around 7. So now that's, that's up to 7.5, 7.6. So maybe my water did change, which I guess could occur. So you're not supposed to touch any of those meters, the little things in the bottom. So I'm going to actually put it in the buffer solution again. And that's reading right on 7. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's hard to tell if you guys can see that. So that's reading right at 7. So the meter's reading right. So my water might be a little higher than it was before. Alright, so then you're supposed to rinse this off. So you can clean this in the buffer solution. Like if you use it, so I guess you really wouldn't have to clean this off right now because I didn't actually put it in anything, no nutrients or anything. But basically what I'll do is rinse it off in the buffer solution. And then this will go right back into the cap. Which has that, uh, that foam in the bottom. And I'll power that off. Okay. So I just wanted to quickly show you the meter. Um, check the calibration and stuff. And I will be going through 
and doing the other checking my plants and all that kind of stuff um, I'll bring you along for that I didn't want this to be too long of a video so we'll check out the second meter as well so this is the TDS EC and temp meter and we're just gonna see what our PPM is so I'm gonna turn the power on it comes up as EC so there's a mode on the bottom Oh, that's that's hold that's ppm so you hold if you're using this meter so you hold that lower button until it changes so now it's reading ppm I don't see I can only see if you guys can see that or not so we're just gonna read the ppm so I have a hundred and eighty hundred and eighty five eighty seven 88 91 it's going up so that's showing I'll put it on hold so you press it once it puts it on hold so you can take it out it's 192 ppm just in my plain water so that's a good number to know when you're using your meters because when you're adding nutrients you have to subtract 192 from the total to know how many ppm newt of the nutrients that you're putting in there so if i was if i were to check this after i put nutrient and it was at 1200 it would only be you know 192 minus the 1200 so you're looking at just a little over a thousand okay so again this one too you rinse it off you're supposed to rinse it off with distilled water or water that's you know like a 7.0 now this doesn't have anything in the bottom, it's just a regular cap. So I guess you could just, yeah, so it doesn't say anything, so it just says rinse it. So I'll rinse it, I'll just wipe the outside edge off a little bit, and then put it back in its cap. And then press and hold the power button until it goes off. Oh, you just press it once, I guess, and it goes off. Yeah, you press it once, it goes off. Alright, so there are the new meters. Um, once I get ready to check all my stuff, I will uh, bring you along. Um, we'll be pulling the lids off, checking the roots, checking the pH, and checking PPM. Alright, hope you guys liked the video. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, till next time, get out there and grow something. See ya.